Hello, and before I begin, let me go ahead and clear up my energy. I welcome in my spirit guides and all the angels and the highest and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light to bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. So I hope everyone is doing well for today. So let's see here. Where am I at? Oh, all right here. <laughs> so cancer, please reveal to me. Who is that the person that you're thinking of in regards to love and spirit? Please bring forth the energy of the person that Cancer is thinking of at this time. What is coming towards Cancer in regards to love? Let's see here. I think I need to adjust the screen over here so I can see what I'm recording. <laughs> Spirit, please bring forth the energy of the person that Cancer is thinking of. What is going on with the person that Cancer is thinking of in regards to love? Thank you. Well, wow. hold on. We have fear. Your person is afraid. They're at a crossroads and they need time to heal. So uh, this is okay because we're actually going through a Mercury and retrograde. And I really feel like your person is doing some reflection on what are their next steps in regards to love. Should they come forward towards you? I feel like if whatever the situation should happen between you and this individual, they're hurt, okay? It could have been because of a situation between you and them or from another um, energy, okay? Let's see. Spirit, is there anything else that wants to come through for the sign of Pi I mean, Pisces? Cancer. <laughs> Sorry, I just did Pisces. Is there anything that wants to come through for the sign of cancer? And for some of my cancers, I mean, you could be done with that Pisces, but let's see. Spirit, please reveal to me what is going on with cancer and their love interest. So we have material world, it's in reverse. We have admired in reverse, and they've come to a conclusion. So cancer, I'm really feeling that your person is hurt because maybe they lost their job or maybe, um, you know, if they used to be popular or in the limelight, they're no longer being admired and they come to a conclusion that money isn't everything, but they have fear of the unknown. They have fear about what's next that's coming towards them in love. So it's kind of funny because I was asking Spare what is coming next towards the sign of cancer and it's your person who is afraid of making a decision because they're hurt. Okay, so let me know guys if that's resonating with you all so far. So let's see what else. Spare, please reveal to me where the additional uh, messages and energies that want to come through in regards to a person that cancer is dealing with at this time. Who is this person that cancer is dealing with at this time? Please reveal to me a little bit more about this person that cancer is dealing with in regards to love. Thank you. So they're detached. 
I'm emotionally closed off, so I don't feel my past wounds. They're hurt, guys, okay? Whoever your person is, I feel like they they either broke up with you or they went towards like a karmic situation. They're not feeling good. They're at a crossroads. They have fear, you know? Your person um, lacks confidence right now about themselves i really feel like whoever this is um they lost a lot it could be a job it could be about money okay they used to be loved now you know they feel alone you know um that's what i'm feeling that's why you know they're not talking to you you know they feel like maybe talking to you is a bit of a burden because they don't want to burden you with their personal issues they're just scared about what what's coming towards them you know in regards to this love situation so let's see is there anything else that wants to come through spirit yeah look at this left hanging i'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation so this person ghosted you now i feel like there's a situation it didn't work the grass wasn't greener on the other side okay with this cancer and um now they're stuck they're like you know what i really wanted cancer you know and they don't know they really don't know how can they come back after they left you hanging that's what i'm saying they ghosted you you know they detached because I feel that your person left you for someone else or something else and they lost money now this person lost money this person okay this is what I'm feeling cancer whoever you're dealing with um, there was a, an option right it was a choice between two people or two situations the one option was that this person was getting like fame recognition they were getting the attention possibly affection from some fake karmic situation and then once uh, the karmic got them they dumped them and they thought they were having it good with this person and I feel like your person rushed to conclusions thinking that this uh, uh, alternate situation was a whirlwind romance and everything is going to be beautiful and blah 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 you know but really it wasn't that that karmic left your person high and dry and they realized that you were the real thing they come to a conclusion that they're emotionally closed off now and the reason why they're like this is because they keep choosing those toxic uh, relationships rather than uh, something that is more uh, emotional or has death in the connection in regards to love that's what it feels like wow let's see is there anything else that wants to come through spirit about this person anything else yeah now that they're they're liberating themselves they're setting themselves free and embracing new experiences and opportunities so your person is at a crossroads they're scared they don't know if you'll take them back they need to heal so i feel like this is fresh so it doesn't make sense right you know they just broke up with somebody you know um it does it's not right for them to just come back towards you after a breakup that's what people do for dating apps right you break up with a girlfriend or boyfriend you're pissed off you know sad and upset what's the first thing you do well f that mf or i'm gonna go ahead and find me someone new <laughs> you know and your person knows that they can't do that with you okay they can do that with anybody else because there is no history okay there's no attachment in regards to feelings now your person realizes that they messed up okay that's that's what i'm getting well so let's see what's going on spirit please reveal to me what is the situation dealing with this person that cancer is dealing with at this time? Okay, please give me clarity and insight about the situation that cancer is dealing with at this time. What is going on with the person that cancer is dealing with? Thank you.
so they're stuck in a past. So it was a past situation that they were involved in. And I really feel like it wasn't over. So they could have had like, um, you know, a situation ship with you. This could be one of the karmic. Take which one resonates. And they're, they're defeated. They're hurt. They're hurt over what's happened. And, you know, they made a decision. And I feel like they made the easy decision to go back towards a karmic. So this is what I'm feeling, okay? This karmic was a spouse okay or someone of their past baby's mama first love you know um high school sweetheart whatever guys you know take it as it resonates but it, it's somebody it could be a job situation for some also okay but i really feel like it's a mother of some sort baby's mom a mother something like that and because of that person, they had to go back towards this past connection. It, it wasn't over, you know, but, you know, they feel hurt because they had to choose to go back to this and they left you hanging. They didn't, you know, explain why cancer. Okay. It was possibly because of money. Maybe they were codependent on this person. Maybe they have like, uh, you know, financial obligations uh, towards one another is another thing I'm also feeling and they kept it a secret so it was a secret maybe your person um you know that there was just too much that was going on for them from what I can see and they that's why they couldn't really grow with you they couldn't uh take this up to the next level and they detached you're you're kind of taken it back you're like well you know, we had this beautiful connection. Why, why did they just cut me off all of a sudden? Why? It's because there was a baby's mama involved or a karmic person. Okay. That's why they cut you off. They had fear. Now they were trying to figure out like, is this what they wanted? You know, they wanted to free themselves. Now that is true. But did they have the balls to do it? No. They needed to heal, okay? So there's something about this energy, about this person that they need to really work on themselves and reflect on, you know, the reasons why they, they do certain things. It's almost as if they were trying to test the waters with you to see if there was something better outside of what they had going on with a past connection. And they reach a conclusion that, you know, um, when it comes to a relationship that is dealing with money or financial duties or obligations, there is no love in that situation. Okay. And, um, they just, they checked out guys. Okay. <laughs> they got the Intel that they needed from, you know, the experience that they had with you and also with them dealing with their past. And they're emotionally closed off because why? Emotionally, it was never filled. Their cup was never filled. That's why there, there's some kind of trauma or some kind of programming from this individual. You know, it could go way deep, right? It could have been as far as like their childhood. The reason why your person is acting like this and the reason why they didn't explain themselves. Is because they never got an explanation from anyone else who they felt attachment or love towards. So I really feel like your person never really felt genuine love from either a family or from their karmic, okay? Or what they thought what love was. So now they know that you're the one. They want to heal, okay? For some, okay, maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. And they want to have a victory, you know, I would say between uh, six, six days to six weeks. Okay. Your person may be showing up. Maybe their ego got in the way for some. And I feel like, you know, they're ending a situation ship here with a karmic. So I feel like if they were at a crossroads uh, between now and December, okay, I feel like your person uh, is going through this. They're thinking about liberating themselves from this karmic situation that isn't making them happy. And um, they're trying to be strong. For some, you're dealing with a Leo. Maybe you help them, uh, gain, you know, give them strength to change. And they feel like, you know, they're full. They're a fool for, for not, you know, making the choice towards you. Now they want to invest. 
So, you know, I really feel like, okay, we're in Mercury and retrograde, and I feel like this is what your person is going through at this time. Your person is actually reflecting on which path to take, and they have a lot of fear about this because I have a, a deep feeling that whoever your person is, they're caught up in a karmic situation. It's a family, okay? Whether or not they have children with this family, it could be like, you know, their mother or father, whatever the case is, okay? Uh, maybe they're too needy and codependent or attached to this family dynamic. There's no love in this situation, you know, if they're stuck in it for material reasons. And I really feel like, you know, with you, it was different. And they left you hanging. They didn't explain themselves, guys, okay? That's what I'm getting. So let's see what else. What do I say? Look, <laughs> there's a lot of cups in here now and temperance, a lot of cups. So, you know, first I see here the three of cups. So your person wants to reconcile with you. They want to come together and possibly celebrate for some, maybe during your birthday. Okay. Now I also see here this king of cups, you know, they were holding back on how much they love you. Honestly, I really feel like whoever you're dealing with, they don't know how to express love. They don't, it, it feels uncomfortable. They don't know how to say it. Okay. And so they're, they're really trying to balance themselves and really temper their feelings. Okay. About not offering your relationship, but also getting out of a partnership to make some sort of offer. So your person is feeling this right now. They're afraid of, of what you might think about their actions. And, you know, it's going to be typical, right? You're going to like, well, why did you leave me hanging? You know, your person has a hard time of expressing how they felt towards you. And obviously, you know, for some, they may not tell you the exact truth. Like they were just trying to find themselves when they were with you and they realized what they had when you were gone. And they had burdens, right? They had obligations towards this past karmic energy. And they see that, you know, it's going to take time for them to get out of a relationship with this karmic so that they can make you a solid offer. Yes, they're going to be single, okay? However, I see that this person, uh, they're broke. <laughs> they don't have money. So they're, they're letting go of being codependent towards a karmic so that they can start something on their own. I really feel like your person is looking to seek independence or trying to uh, work on like a new career or, you know, try to make more money on their own so they don't have to be dependent on a karmic situation. Okay. So it's going to take time. That's why um, there's a lot that's going on with your person right now. And they, they feel like they can't accept any offers. They, they feel like they have to be alone. So they left you hanging. I really feel like, okay, Cancer, they did this because they felt like they couldn't offer you what you're looking for. And in the midst of how this person got to know what love was or, you know, a better form of love than that what they were receiving before in the past with a past karmic situation, they realized that they need to work on themselves. And that's actually really good. So you taught your person that they need to level up or, or do better for themselves, not really be codependent on a past situation okay so that they can show up and offer you their genuine feelings that's what I'm getting but right now your person isn't accepting or taking any offers of love because they're holding on to their money or whatever that they have because they don't have much guys I really feel like your person doesn't have enough to go around okay um, and they want to tell you the truth with this king of swords this is good you know for some you're done with an air sign Ooh, look at this two kings could be a fire sign could be an air sign whoever this is they're taking action and they want to tell you the truth so your person is coming in correct you know and i also see here the king of cups you know and i saw the king of pentacles in reverse they feel like you know the only thing that they don't have is money they have everything else or they feel like they have everything else to offer you except for money this person does not have money that's why they're holding themselves back and this is your energy. 
That's why they're not coming towards you. That's why they left you hanging. And they're healing this about not being good enough. And it's about the money. Wow. I can't believe it. You know, your person has fear about what this connection is. They're definitely feeling it. You know, so if they didn't express this to you, just no cancer, okay? They do have those feelings. They're just learning how to be single or be independent, not be codependent either on you or someone else, okay? Take it as it resonates. And that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, because they want balance. They don't want to feel like a handout. <laughs> They don't want to be like uh, the uh, charity case. You know? That's what I'm feeling. Wow. And I feel like, uh, Cancer, you're very giving. You know, you, you want to nurture this person. You have a big heart. But this person doesn't feel good for accepting your, your, your generosity. That's what I'm getting, guys. Let me know. Okay? So, let's see. Spirit, what are the messages that want to come through for Cancer? What are the messages that want to come through from your person? What are the messages, please, Spirit? What are the messages that want to come through? Your intensity frightens me and allures me all at the same time. So this is a deep connection. You know, that's why they ran. I'm in a much he better headspace right now. You know, you know, give them, you know, the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Uh, they ran. They didn't give you much, but it was because your intensity was too powerful. They thought that maybe you're just too good to be true and they felt lack. Okay. They could have been also be stuck in another situation, but they're coming to a realization. Okay. That's why they're in a much better headspace now. Also, I miss you regardless of how things seem. Okay, so they do miss you even though that they they're not telling it to you. Also, something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what it is. <clears throat> so whatever this material life is that they had that they don't have, you know, I feel like they're equating uh, material for love. That's what I feel. Um, is it possible to forgive and forget? You know, they're not perfect, but they're hoping that you're compassionate. Okay. And finally, I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. So I really feel that they, they left you without explaining anything to you. They could have handled the situation better. You know, I mean, honestly, it's like a learning situation is what I'm feeling with this person, you know, so you know, just as long as you guys have the talk, I think you guys can resolve these issues. And I really feel like it's going to be between now and the next couple of months. Okay, that's what I'm feeling up until October-ish. That's what it looks like. So let me go ahead and pull a guidance message and see what is it that you guys need to know at this time. So if this reading is resonating with you so far... This is your guidance, and if the cross watcher is watching, this could also be for you. Spirit, please reveal to me what is the guidance message that Cancer needs to know about this situation. We have personal transformation. It's a number 35. So your person needs to work on themselves to change and transform. Okay. Uh, and really put, put some effort into it. Right. So let's go ahead and see. 
Your soul is assisting you with creating changes to align you with your life's purpose. Ganesha is pointing to the heavens and encouraging you to be open to new ideas and the growth of your spirit. Listen to the still small voice within. You may have been feeling a strong desire to obtain or experience again a sense of meaning, inspiration, or purpose in your life. This is likely a time in which you are making some significant adjustments in your life. These adjustments are helping you in the process of changing yourself from the old you to the new you, and you will soon benefit from a fresh perspective on life. You are in a great place now for honoring the person of who you truly are or want to be rather than simply following a routine that has little meaning to you, which is exactly what I've been uh, channeling in this routine reading. This is a profound spiritual journey that you are experiencing, which brings greater meaning and purpose into your life. This will renew your inner energy, eliminate everything in your life that is not essential to your transformation. Realize that some of your uh, activities may be in a place simply to act as buffers or distractions from what is truly important. Allow the changes that are taking place and trust that a period of greater calm and stability will follow. Ganesha is calling you to your destiny. Your calls for guidance have not gone unnoticed and you will ultimately find what you are yearning for. So it's going to take time. They're actually going through a transformation. Okay. And so, you know, your person will come through. Okay, Cancer. Uh, they're actually going through ascension. That's what this feels like, especially if you're on that twin flame journey. So I really hope that this reading was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I provide daily guidance messages here for the collective. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit me on my website. It's www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for visiting my channel. Before we begin, I would like to share what I have in store for you. Me, Grace. Grace is my latest fragrance that I have created. It was made with a special subscriber in mind, and I named the scent after her. This lovely fragrance is made from jasmine, Japanese cherry blossoms, honeysuckle, and more. And if you'd like to purchase my latest spray, you can get $2 off by using the coupon code SPRAY. If you're interested in my intention sprays, attraction, and twin flames, you can use the same coupon to get $2 off from those as well. And as a token of appreciation, for trying out my latest fragrance, I will gift you a lovely scented candle just for you while supplies last. Also, my bath bombs and bath salts are all on sale. You can use the coupon code SALTY and get 20% off. And for those of you who just purchased any product from me, such as jewelry, I will give you a sample fragrance or two so you can test the sprays out. And finally, you can get 40% off on all teas on my website. I have a detox and cleanse tea that helps burn belly fat and suppresses your appetite, improves skin appearance, and reduce bloating. Try it today by using the coupon code FOXY40. You can visit my online store at www.scorpiomoonintuition.com to purchase products or to book a reading. Thanks for watching.